Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here with the Duelist Cup. Um, two chances are seeing this video first. The previous video, I recorded one previously. I completely, I did one huge misplay and it cost me the entire game, so I'm not even sure if I'm going to upload it, so I'm just going to be recording a new one. Going in here, I'm using Adventure Brain Kids. I lost because I forgot to summon Doodle Doo twice, completely screwing me, and yeah going to try again, but knowing this, it was a definite come up, comeuppance of this is why you pay attention even when it seems pretty clear you're going to win. Because I definitely threw that game pretty damn hard. I threw it unbelievably hard, and that person ended up winning because of that. Oh, this hand's pretty nice, though. I got a Nibiru and a Maxi, so let's see what they're running. I'm actually surprised. The last person who was running, actually, no, was Swords also. I thought they were running a Rose Dragon, but they weren't. You're running Morphtronics. Okay. Maximum C. You've never seen such C action before. You have called by the grave. It's cool, use it. There it is. Well, I still have Nibiru, and since it's a synchro deck, they're going to summon at least five times. So, I just have to hope that they don't put up a negate before then. There it goes. Bye-bye. I should still have some decent play rounds, thanks to prank kids, but we'll see. Uh, but that's two summons right now. Let's see how many more they can get through. United we stand! <laughs> is, that, is, is that it? Is that it? Okay. Huh. Okay. So, here's what we call a pro gamer move. Do you have a Lash Blossom or something? You do not. Alright, this one's going. I'm not going to throw this one. There is no mercy in my eyes for this one. Super attentive. Super paying attention. Never has been my focus been so clear. Rise of Amor. Thank you very much. Give me it here. Activate. Doesn't have an Ash Blossom, so I'm fine. Oh, wait. Attack position, because I'm actually going second, so. Yep, sure will. I'll go here. And then I will go here. I don't know, I didn't think anyone would be running Morphtronics in this one. I'm surprised. Uh, I'll activate this effect first. Just so I can get good practice in with doing this. Just in case he has a Nibiru. Didn't move Nibiru me back. Select a card. Thank you. Equipped card. No. Add to hand. Special summon a monster. Correct. I think I want... Uh, no, I want you. And then I will use this to play out the Nibiru in case he has one. I'm honestly surprised he has not. To be fair, I said the same thing about the last guy, and I ended up being put in my place, so... I'm actually kind of happy that no one's really surrendering playing this. you think it'd be pretty easy once you start doing the combos, but maybe people feel like, you know what, I got a fighting chance. I'm gonna do it. Alright, return this guy to your hand, please. Uh, next. I'm gonna go doodle doo. Honestly, there we go. <laughs> There's the fourth. <laughs> Though, unfortunately, I don't think... Ooh, Duelist level up. Yay, level 8. Now, I don't think um, you can actually look at the decks. Profile? Yeah, no, I can only look at his. Don't know what he's playing. What, what were you? You're also okay. That might explain some of the decks that I've been running into. What profile were you? Okay. Okay. Brink it, maybe I should have saved for when I was higher up in the duelist level. Because if I'm running into a bunch of gold people, I'm starting to think I don't need to go this hard this quickly. <laughs> oh, wait, no, this guy's got a diamond border. This guy's probably ready to take me down. Let's go in for another one, because that one was too quick. Okay. But yeah, the, once Prank Kids has started, like, there was a very... I gotta put Axis Code in here. I run to... Oh. 
Okay, this is not that bad if I'm going second, but this and the starting hand really sucks. Exosisters. Okay. He might win this because I have no idea how to play this. Nope. I'm fine. And I drew the worst hand trap to go against this deck. Because this deck needs no removal. Yeah, I could probably get rid of one Link Spider. Add in Axis Code Talker. Verte Anaconda. Are you going to summon DPE on me? Go ahead. Whatever you summon, man. It's all good. Yeah, there's DPE. As expected. Okay. It's fine. You done? Let me read something. Move the cards out of either graveyard. So I can't touch my graveyard, so that's actually kind of a problem for me. I'm going to use Rise of Amor to bait out DP, basically. Though, funny enough, I'm going to activate Fateful Adventure and then he'll see how badly I've bricked in this in, in this in this instance. Mmm, Brinkets. Uh, no, I don't need to activate Brinkets Prank right now. Okay. We'll see what he chooses to DP. Really? Okay. Interesting. Can't ash this. Can't ash this, though. If he actually just destroys it, its effects are negated. Called by the grave. Ooh. That's not good. That would also explain why he was so confident. That's a mmm, that's a that's a tough mmm I think I lose this one. Oh shit, I should have activated artifact less oh I'm stupid. I should have activated this. I this would have prevented me from losing everything. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. Apparently I can still keep going. So yeah, I'm going to keep going. I don't know if I have an actual Link 2, now that I think about it. I think I actually have my own Verte Anaconda. But that doesn't work when... Uh, I need specifically three Lightnings and three of my Prank Kids in there, so... Yeah, it's a surrender for me. It's a surrender for me. You win this one. Let's try another one. Yeah, I should have activated my Artifact card. It would have prevented me from losing. Um, at least that card. Oh well. This was the problem when you start using cards that are considered good. Is that I forget what their effects are because I just literally crafted it for this specific event. I know the Scythe artifact lock thing, but I actually don't know. Sometimes I forget to use that one specifically. So let's go. So you're going second again. But I could have totally gotten myself out of that. I just played badly. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully this is Sword Soul or Burbs. Because I can take this down pretty easily if they're birds. What do you got, friend? What do you got? Are you Drytron? Because I have a feeling you are. <laughs> Nif Nifis? That's not a card I was expecting to see. For sure, let's go. Unfortunately for you, Adventure kind of completely screws over anything Nifus wants to do. But I believe in you, sir. Sometimes the little guy does win. Yeah, yeah. Go, Dragon Maid. Car. Alright, so what's your play? I believe in you. I believe whatever you out want to activate will succeed in the end. Yeah, ritual. Hell yeah. I forgot to put access code talk. God damn it. 
<laughs> Next time. Hmm. Devotee of Nephis. Yeah, that's not. That's not happening, bro. I wish you the best of luck, though. Called by the grave? It would make me use up impermanence. Bye! <gasps> Is this a cost? Uh, I'm allowed, because I actually don't know if this is an effect that's a cost. But I guess I'm about to find out. Yeah, okay. It would have been useless to imperm that. Because it would have done nothing. Nephis! Hello. I'm going to return you to the hand at the end of this. Get hype. Oh, my friend. My friend, my friend. Why do I keep fucking drawing this? Okay. There's literally only one in the deck. I'm sick. Prank Kid's place. Honestly, if he has no Ash Blossom, then... We're pretty solid. At this point, he's wondering, where's Fateful Adventures? It was right here. The adventure was always inside of us the entire time. Nope. I'm doing this even though I know for a fact he doesn't have anything. Boom, boom. I really should add back Axis Code Talker. It's just a good ender board thingy. There's no point in activating this because it's going to go back to the hand. <laughs> Special summon a monster, yes sir. Here we go. Nope. I just need to have three, three, four, th uh, three, two thousand monsters on the field and I win, I think. Bye bye. You know where Nephis is really useless in? The grid, the hand. Because it doesn't destroy. Poor Lee. Poor, poor Lee. Ah, poor Lee. I get it. Alright, back to the hand. Back to the hand. Don't want to see it anymore. Here we go. Cock a doodle doo. Activate this. Activate this. Nothing. Okay. Sending pandemonium. Uh, drop C, here we go. Add this to the hand, prank its pranks. And then, boom, boom. I don't think I actually have enough for, oh, I do actually have enough. I don't think it's going to be game if I do it, though, so I'm not going to do it. Okay. Here. Nope. I do not want to negate my own effect. Thank you very much. Here. Next. Go here. If I do this right, I'll actually do the combo I was supposed to do against the other opponent and then chose not to do it. There's Doodle Do. Go here. Yep. Sure will. Uh, Roxy's is the last of the bunch. You know him well. And then I'm going to go here. And this is game. If I had access code talker, I would just have gone into, gone into him, and that would have been an easier game. But I forgot to. I keep forgetting him to put him back in the deck. There you go. Banish this. Don't need it anymore. Goodbye. All right. This guy. It's unfortunately over for him. So. 
Boop. Boop. Okay. There we go. There we go. Uh, just in case. And my turn. Ah, uh, yes. Please return the Lulu and the Roxies. Don't draw Roxies, please. If I'm gonna do anything, don't draw Roxies. All right, that's fine. Dun, 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 bun, bun. Now, because this guy's running a Nephis deck, I assume he's going to. I don't know what he's gonna do. Maybe he's left to use the bathroom. Oh, never mind. There we go. He's back. Mm, bum. But yeah, you can see here from the timer, it takes a long time to set up your prank kit stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, funny enough, Battle Butler is actually not the greatest against Nephis because he just destroys everything. Um, what does this do? Um, no. Sure, I'll negate that. Maybe a petty thing to negate, but I'm going to negate it. So actually once per turn, I should check that. It's not once per turn. Oh, it is. Never mind. No. No fun. Alright, it's my turn. There is no reason to belay this. I'm just going to win. Alright, there we go. Give them to the little guys. So yeah, probably don't need to go this crazy strong this early on. Now that I think about it, probably could have saved it for part two. But based off of the fact that I was playing this and still misplayed and still was able to lose, I don't know. I don't know. This one specifically feels like you should be running the best, but maybe no one else caught the memo of that and they're running whatever still. But hey, actually, now that I'm curious, let me see. Against the guy I lost, profile, is he also in gold? No, he's, mm, he's plat. So that makes sense. So this guy has to be in gold. Silver! Man, what are you doing? Is there really no, like, rhyme or reason to where people- There's zero reason I should be fighting a silver-ranked <laughs> duelist in anything. Um, apologies to Lee for that one, but yeah. Weird. It's weird. There should be better tiering of that, but I didn't think about that part, but anyway. See you in the video, everyone. Till next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.